do you want to know, Aiden? Do you want to know how to do a high five? High five. Good girl. Yeah. Welcome to the Q and A. Hi. Nice to see you guys. I appreciate you coming out here today. All right. So to answer the questions, we do plan to answer all of them. All right. The first question comes from golfer in Kentucky or golfer in KY, which stands for Kentucky. C A T S. Cats. 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 Good. Cat. Cat. Roll Tide. Cat. Colin, what's your favorite salad dressing? Katie, bacon bits or croutons? My favorite salad dressing growing up was Italian, but I have recently just been all out ranch. Ranch. Italian, really? I was an Italian freak. I didn't know that. Um, bacon bits or croutons? I probably- You better say bacon bits! I was gonna go with bacon bits, really. <sighs> bacon makes everything better. Yeah. Caden's Nona? Is that how you say that? She said, new subscriber mm. here. You guys are adorable and funny. When you put your socks on, right or left foot first? Okay. LOL! I've got- your hand on the fan! <laughs> two socks right here. Alright, so what are you gonna do? Alright, let's just act like I'm getting ready for school. So you can sit down and put them on. Um, no, I'm gonna get a left foot first. I figured first. you did. I I'm left handed, and I got a left foot first. Yeah. Alright, now you try. Okay. Wait, let me mix them up. Oh, okay. which one is it? Mine is right foot first. Well, look, now I'm gonna go left foot first when I'm sitting down. Oh, tricked you. No, but it's right, really. Okay. Okay, anyway. This is by Katie Bear asks. How long have you been married and how did you meet? And a bunch of people actually ask this question. Other people ask really ask this question too, how long we've been married. Um, we have been married for four years. Four years and a half. Four and a half years. Four and a half years. Happy four and a half year anniversary last week. The next question she asked and a couple other people I think asked too is how did you meet? Well, that's kind of a funny story <laughs> actually. I walked up to her and I said, hey good looking, what you got cooking? And I said, mmm, um, no, not really. <laughs> it was a football game, surprise, and um, I went with some of my friends, one of his friends, and just said hey to him. I was actually dating somebody else at the time, and saw this guy, him, and I was like, oh, he's cute. <laughs> and then... So fast forward like six months to March 29th of 2003 and my friend Brooke, she invited me to a party and I was like, oh, I don't really want to go, whatever. She's like, the hot guy from the football game is going to be there. Who was that? Nuh-uh. Yes. And Ooh. I was, yes, yes, story. <laughs> and um, so I, I was like, fine, I'll go, whatever. So I wasn't going to go to the party, mind you. So we walked up to the party, or we drove up, and we're walking up, and I see somebody on top of a car, in the park, car parked in the middle of the yard, by the way, on top of the car, walking on his hands down the top of the car, and I was like, what in the world? And Brooke was like, oh, that's, there he is, that's the hot guy from the football game. And uh, agile. Yeah, I mean, he's agile and hot, so I was like, oh my goodness. So for that night, we talked for maybe like five minutes on and off, you know, like we kind of said, hey, whatever. And so when I went to leave, I told him, oh, I had broken up with the other guy. I was not dating anybody else anymore. I said, I need to go tell him bye. So I said, all right, well, it's good to see you again. I'll talk to you later. And he... You know what I do? All right, bye. It was good seeing you. I'll talk ah! to you Anyway, vampire but, mentality or vampire mentality. I think it's probably vampire. Vampire with a Y. He asks, or she asks, are you both open minded? Yes. Katie, what is your favorite color? Um, open minded? I'm very open minded. I You're not. I probably, I'm a little bit. I'm probably, I try to be, but. You're straight and narrow. Yeah, kind of. Um, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Oh, look! Would you look at that? And Just look at it. it. I was gonna say my second favorite color is like teal, kind of. And what do you know? I've got on teal pants. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even think about that. Our girl, Rins Nita! Rins Nita's in the house. She asks a couple questions. She says, uh, Katie, the first time you saw Colin, what did you think of him? <laughs> and Colin, what did you I think we already answered this. I said, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? 
Now, the first time I saw him, obviously, I said, that's the hot guy from the football game. The <laughs> second time I saw him, I was like, oh, good grief. That guy's almost handsome and walking down a car. What is each of your worst habits? Mine would be, have to be biting my fingernails. You think that's your worst habit? Yeah. That's, that's the only bad thing you do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm picking one, okay? Okay. What's my worst habit? Probably what I just did. Like, uh, nag nagging at you. Yes. I don't interrupt that much, do I? No. It's more just like, wait, is that my worst habit? I don't know. Who changes the empty tissue roll in the bathroom? Oh my gosh, what's the answer to that? Me. No, you do not! I do too! You don't! Uh, do you want to watch me go do it now? The you, no, no, wait, 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 I have something to say. Literally, <laughs> literally 15 minutes ago, there's been a toilet paper roll sitting on yeah, the so counter. One time. For, no, we every time. put it on the counter. That's not changing it. But it, well, Okay, if he it gets it out of the cabinet, I put it on the roll. No, 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 I didn't get it out of the cabinet. I was implying that you got it out of the cabinet and didn't put it on the roll. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. So I, ended up, I ended up putting it on the roll, though. But I've put it on the roll several times. But you've used that toilet paper roll several times since it's been sitting on the counter. You use toilet paper a lot more than I do. <laughs> LA Hippie Chick asked several questions. Katie, what is your favorite song at the moment? Go! Oh my gosh, I don't know. Oh, um, that Jamie Grace song. Uh, what's it? Amy? I love the way you hold me in my arms, you'll always be. Make kitchen every day. Oh, so special. Yeah, she sings it better. Go check out her YouTube channel. It's a really cute song. Well, who are your favorite football players, Colin? Oh, gosh. I don't Quick, even know. hurry. They Mar go on. Mark, they go on. <laughs> Mark Ingram, he won the Heisman last year. Trent Richardson right now, currently, is probably one of run, my favorite. Run, Trent, run. Run, Trent, run. All Alabama football players are my favorite. Do, you, do people make fun of your name, Colin, due to Twilight? Oh, my gosh. Yes! We are so mad about this too. I've been named Cullen for 29 <laughs> years. And then all of a sudden, these twihards come around with this little name, Cullen, and... Uh, Everybody's like, oh my gosh, Cullen like Twilight? And he's like, no, because Twilight wasn't around when I was born. Yeah, so now when we go out to eat or something, when we leave the reservation name is Cullen, and all these little 13-year-old girls will start running into the... Well, the girl that cut his hair too used to be like, oh my god, yeah. I cut a guy's hair named Cullen. What's your favorite thing to do while driving in the car? Well, Nothing but driving. Mine's texting. I love to text. I'm just kidding. Mine is uh, just jamming out. I, I like to turn my bass up or the radio up really loud. <laughs> what is one thing you cannot live without? Both. We both answer this one. I can't live without you. Oh, that's really nice. Oh. Okay, really, what can't you live without? <laughs> I wouldn't know how to fix a dryer. That's true. <laughs> well, I couldn't live without you either. Aww. Now you made me feel bad for not saying that. Well, I would say a lot of things, but honestly, the main thing that I couldn't live without is my family. Because... Oh. I'm serious. If you had to think of like a tangible object, yeah. though. But seriously, my family. And that's why I'm really sad. Alright, just freaking peachy ass. <laughs> I like that name, just friggin' peachy. Just friggin' peachy. Kids, are they in your future? I... Uh, Yes, they are. Why don't you go ahead and tell them the news? We won't be having kids for another <laughs> year and a half. <laughs> yes, we're, we're waiting till her school finishes before. But yeah, they're definitely, I only want two. Three. We are having three. Two. Three. Two. Just wait and see. Maddie Post One. My girl, Maddie Post One! Ass! She is so cute. I love her. She says, what do you guys do for a living? You go to school. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in, okay, here's a really short version. I'm in school for clinical psychology, grad school. I'm finishing it up. This is my last year, and I will be graduating in August of 2012, and then I will be done, and I will get a real job. I work for an orthodontic software company, and I am being, I have the privilege of working from home for the year, so, uh, you know, the little, the software that moves your teeth, and you can see before and after stuff, and I, I, I look at a lot of these things every day. Maddie Post also asks, where is the favorite place you have, wh where's your favorite place you've ever visited? God, honeymoon? Oh, at, for the longest time, my favorite place I ever visited was Boston. I really liked Boston a lot. Just, like, Boston, we went on a family vacation. We've talked about this. No Dr. Pepper. That was the sad part. <laughs> oh, no. I know. Alaska. I'm like a beach rat, so I loved our honeymoon. Yeah, I mean, I did too. St. Lucia. Was my most favorite. Yeah. All right. So we had a good part one. We are back with part two. 
Hope you guys enjoy, and these are all good questions. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.